let's just go ahead and get right inside. You know, Mystery Booster Box, when this launched, it was only a hundred bucks. And uh, I picked this one up for 160 out the door. Let's see if we can get our money back today. Now, I think you can. He's about like 180 bucks right now, 180 uh, shipped on eBay, maybe about 200 bucks. I think it's still a good value at that price. You know, um, there's just so many good hits inside. I think once that second wave dries up, um, these are gonna be about three, $400 booster boxes potentially. We're talking Mana Crips, guys. Uh, good stuff inside. So we'll just go ahead and open some up. Uh, as in the sun, I'm talking about all of them. And uh, yeah, so here's the first side. We'll go ahead and see what's inside and uh, you know, just go ahead and share the hits that are mystery booster. It's been a while since I've opened some uh, sealed product on the camera. So let's just go ahead and see what we get. Now we're gonna go ahead and get two of each color, some fun slots. Let's go ahead and commence. So kind of slow roll everything here. Nothing too crazy in the black slot. We do have the demonic tumor, uh, tutor potentially. Tumor battle rage threw me off. But we'll just go ahead and open and see what we get. Ancient stirrings, reflector mage blighted flynn. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker and the Pila Pila, Pila Pala. Uh, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, very fun commander card. Gabos, Mono Red Commander, pretty cool. 160 bucks, let's see if you get there. I do know that the Mana Crypt currently is at about 130. Once Double Masters comes out, you know, how far will the regular versions go? Who knows? We'll go be kind of quick here, exclude. Blister Grub, Shattering Spree. Nothing too crazy there. Some great uncommons in these slots as well, as far as elves go. We'll see if we'll hit some of those. Artisan of Kozilect. Sapphire Charm, very cool retro frame. Sword of Amnest, awesome commander card. Great for kind of monocolor, two color decks, Boros decks, land fetching. Uh, good card. So, boom. Two packs down. Maybe about a $5 bill. Keep the cheeky, my way, three, four bucks. Now, typically, you're going to get about like, three or four very playable cards per pack. So, I hopefully, you know, we will continue that trend. Swords to Plowshares, Paths to Exile, all kinds of fun stuff. Nothing too crazy yet. Elvish Fury, Beast Within, awesome. Commander Staple, about $3 guard, maybe, you know. Renegade Map. Elixir of Mortality. Marin of Clan Neltoth, sweet card. I do believe uh, this was recently printed in Secret Lair. Flashy, shiny version is about 20 bucks. This is like an $8 bill. Conspiracy, nice. As Conspiracy comes into play, choose a creature type. Creature cards you own that aren't in play. Creature spells you control and creatures are the chosen type. Cool, that's actually a very fun card that I did not get, so. Clan of uh, Neltoth, $8 bill. Keep it moving. Now it has been a while since I've opened packs on camera. So we're just kind of getting back in the speed of things, you know? We uh, just dropped the Tony Hawk gameplay video. I don't know how I'm gonna package those in the future. I feel like that might be Twitch content, but you know, slow roll it. Went pretty well. I think we're gonna do more gameplay, more retro game gameplay footage for sure. Good cards. Tithe Drinker. Magus of the Moat is a retro slot. Used to be about like eight to $10 before all these reprints. I think this is like a two, three dollar bill. Beacon of Immortality, Zer's Weirding. Kind of blah hits there, four packs in. Nothing too overtly crazy. I think the hit so far is Marin of Clan Meltoff. Now, like I said, I think this is still a great commander product. If you can get these picked up, you know, for about sub 200 bucks, Counterspell, you know, great playable cards in all of these slots. Cartouche, Bronze Dawn, Gateway Plaza. Our retro slot, Phantom Centaur, 2-0. Meandering Tower Shell, Ugh, kind of a big blah. Celestial Dawn, Lands I Control are Planes. Cards you own that aren't in play, spells you control, and non-man permits you control are white. You may spend white mana as well for any color. Okay, interesting, I love these older frames. These are cards that I've never opened, and I just get you know, getting a chance to open these in foil. Kind of a sweet foil right there retro frame cool 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 um that being said not great so far so we got i might have messed that up but uh first third of the box Ugh. six packs in now usually i have amazing off-camera luck 
I have great on-camera luck as well, so I'll see how it goes tonight. Retreat to Amara. Noxious Dragon, Smooth Spirits, Greater Sandworm, Glitleaf Palace, Night Howler, eh. Burning Inquiry. Hmm, mm, I have an inquiry. Are there any good hits in the box so far? First, third is kind of blah. Uh, you know, that being said, you can't get too greedy. It's kind of a, uh, you know, it's a mosaic of hits. It's not all about the one hits that you get in this one box. It's about the collection of hits. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all bullshit. Let's take a drink. <laughs> uh, how has crack packing got you guys so far this year? Have you guys got anything uh, crack packing? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. Packing cracks, going pretty good for you guys. <laughs> good hit so far this year. Hell of a year. Vampire Nighthawk, great black card. Not value town. Ancient Brought to Dawn, Colossal Drad Maw. Hedron Crab is a good. Hedron Crab is a good hit. It's a good hit. We're looking at like a $3 bill. Landfall. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, target player puts the top three cards in his or her library into the graveyard. Supreme Verdict, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, greats, just board wiper. Uh, cannot be countered, destroy all creatures. You know, four mana, typically in blue and white, you can kind of maybe cheat that out a little bit. It's a great card, not a great card. Supreme Verdict might be the hit so far. I think it's a $10 bill. So we got our first third of the box. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Contingency plan might be to sell the remaining packs, but I think we're going to go ahead and push forward, ladies and gentlemen. Arbor, regrowth, you know, good cards, burnished heart. These are just, you know, good, you know, good cards to have. If you, if you're just starting your collection, mystery booster box might be the way to go. Vault and ultimatum, <laughs> violent ultimatum. Ugh, eek. Uh, foil slot not doing a lot. Rare slot not doing a lot. First third of the box. Marin. We got uh, Sword of the Amnest. I believe this was the Supreme Verdict pack. Dollarville. Uh, you know, as you're watching this, um, yeah. Yikes. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, guys. I'll do a recap at the very, very end, but I gotta say, for all the hype, kind of decent so far. Sort of the Amnesty might be like a five, six dollar bill. All right, first third is down. Let me go ahead and take a quick break. Let's go ahead and refresh. Take a quick, uh, you know, it's very hot in the summertime. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and uh, you know, stay safe, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue on. We'll move this over here for the OCD pile one. Yeah, throw that there for now. I will say too, the foiling in this set is absolutely not great. So I would, at first possible notice, if you can see that on camera, go ahead and throw these into a sleeve immediately because those will do nothing but absolutely Pringle, and that's not good. All right, so we got like two mythics, I think. Um, only one way to go, and that is up. Let's continue the journey. Mystery booster packs. Continue. So let me know in the comments, anybody buy any of this stuff? I will say, uh, for the most part, every box that I have had purchased, this will be my, you know, I don't want to say on camera, but you know, we, bought, we, we, we bought a few boxes. Um, absolutely got my money back every time, so love the product. Blood Artist, amazing card, and that's just kind of like an ear you know, in your common slots. Hitting with cards like that is awesome. Whew, commune with nature, soul manipulation, whisper silk cloak, love it. Um, you know, not exactly great value-wise, two, three dollars, dollar fifty maybe even, but uh, love it. Had this in about three or four commander decks. Avalanche Riders, Summon Nomads, Echo, never seen that before. During your next upkeep, after this permanent comes under your control, pay its casting costs or sacrifice it. I lied, I've seen that before. Ah, Savage Knuckleblade. Uh, uh, Colrath Knights. All right, starting off, not great. Second eights, 
Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. All we kind of really need is that mana crypt, and uh, you know, we'll get fucking do. You know, we'll do some backflips. <sighs> Scroll three. Blue elemental blast. Not as good as the red one. Bag vampire hex mage. Good card. Grapple with the pass. Phantom slivers. Slivers are relevant. Bone splitter. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm actually seeing a lot of cards that I have not bought, you know, I've actually not opened before. Uh, I think this card set has about 1,800 cards in it, so. <sighs> Gideon Jura, not worth talking about, but the Undead War Chief is Gideon Jura, yeah, 75 cents maybe. Bone Splitter might be a buck. Uh, Undead War Chief is pretty damn good. Zombie spells you play cost one less. Uh, zombies you control get plus two one. Very relevant, very strong. Four drop. Where are the hits at? Demonic Tutor, Teferi's Protection, Mana Crypt. Let's go, let's get some stuff. Bang, bang. Smash some of the Reens. Agony Warp, Bottle Gnomes. <sighs> Grasp of Fates, pretty good. Pretty good. When Grasp of Fate enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target non-man permanent that player controls until this leaves a battlefield. You're you know, playing against three people for three. You get this in. You're getting rid of about three permanents until this leaves. Pretty decent. It's like a six, seven dollar bill maybe. So I think we're doing pretty good. You know, pretty good as far as like a standard booster box goes. I think we're on pace to kind of get our one, you know, one something. Maybe if it's 120, 130, that's very livable. You know, typically you're not cracking this stuff for value, but you know, it's nice. You know, it's real fucking nice sometimes. In the first 10 slots, the common slots, the uncommon slots to hit a demonic tutor. Bang, bang, ladies and gentlemen, a bang, bang. Currently, I think this is like a $40 bill. Um, I think this would be like 50, 60 bucks. Unless it's reprinted in Double Masters or the uh, upcoming commander set. Holy shit, demonic tutor, great card to get. Card of the box. Instant sleeve, I don't even know what to do so far. So let's just go ahead and go like this. We'll sleeve it up instantly because Demonic Tutor with the Liliana Arts is worth sleeving. Let's not ruin the pack going, pack breaking, and let's continue on, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just like in the first couple hits, man. That, those first 10 slots, you can get some great hits. Essence Warden, I think it's like a dollar bill. It's a great elf card. Dark Seal Citadel. Citadel. Artifact lands, love those. Phyrexian Metamorph, love it. Three and a blue Phyrexian. Uh, as this enters the battlefield, it's a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield, except that it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Great hits. Gaunty Lord of Luxury, fun hit. Two dollar buck, you know, dollar, two dollar bill. Reaper King Foil got reprinted in Secret Lair. Pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. There we go, hit of the box so far, Demonic Tutor, ladies and gentlemen. That will get us closer to the prize. 160 bucks. I think we're on, you know, great track so far. So we are halfway through the box. Demonic Tutor was huge. Great hit so far. I think, you know, without knowing and looking at the numbers, I wanna say we're about 60, 70 bucks. A lot of room for a lot of great hits. Keep it moving. Youthful Knight, Trinket Mage. Was it three blacks? Interesting. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Three blacks, two reds. Absence Pilgrim, pretty, yeah, it's not that great. Whew. Messi's Tome, Phantasmal Dragon. All right, gotta be honest. The foil slot is really shooting us, except for the Undead War Chief. Not a lot going on in the foil slot. Lost the rare. Sudden Demise, eh. <sighs> Not great. Not great. Keep it moving. Now, um, I did buy some Core 21. Core 21 was pretty good to me. I thought it was a quick snapshot or two. Uh, did very well in the, uh, the regular standard booster box. Got two Teferis. Wow, awesome. One was foil. And I think it's a great commander card, so I'm pretty happy with that. Got some great mythics as well. Got one core 21 collector's pack, throw that up. Bang, bang, two foil full arts. Azusa, 
Bane Slayer Angel, two cards that will go in decks. Very excited about that. Now, continuing on with Mystery Boosters, um, I am kind of excited for the Double Masters coming up. You know, uh, I think it's a $3 bill. Phyrexian Reclamation was about five. I think it's about one, two, three bucks right now. One, two, three bucks. Don't saw. Master Transmuter, love it. Young Brea. Uh, got this in my Brea deck, absolutely love the card. Three and a blue. Blue tap, return artifact you control to your hand, which is great, you can definitely abuse that. But also, you may put an artifact from your hand into play. You know, cheat in a blight steal, do a lot of fun stuff. Master Transmuter. Deadly Tempest and Fungusaur. Eh. Eh. So great, decent hits. Um, bang, bang, bang. Trash. I gotta say for the two thirds down, closing in on two thirds down, doing pretty well. A mana crypt will throw us over the top. It'll be obnoxious, it'll be ridiculous. Let's continue on. Disposable money. Poor swine. Absent guide. Helm of the Awakening, Ghost Quarter. Good card. Aether Flux Reservoir. Funeral Charm. Hmm. Okay, okay. I do have an insane amount of these for my Kaladesh days. Double down on some Aether Flux Reservoirs. Great card. Might be five bucks. All right, the last of the second eights. Let's keep it moving. God's Pharaoh Faithful. Read the bones, seal the doom. Whew. All right, Bow of Nella. Hmm, decent. Music's Mastery, two, eh, two bucks. Geth's Grimoire. No. These are cards. Ladies and gentlemen, these are cards. All right, so I think we're doing pretty decent. Doing pretty decent. We're closing in the last eight packs. The Demonic Tutor was essential. I gotta be honest, if we did not hit that Demonic Tutor, the tune would be very different right now. I would not be feeling amazing, gotta be honest. That being said, Demonic Tutor is pretty damn sweet. We're gonna keep it moving, take a quick break, and we'll be back right after this. Yeah, you know, stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. Stay hydrated. So let's continue on with the final leg. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have eight packs left. What do you think? So far, so good? Yay, nay, eight packs. <laughs> Excuse me. Gotta be honest, I think we got a lot of, you know, I think I got one or two $10 bills. I saw a couple $8 bills. The Demonic Tutor was absolutely clutch. Love, love, love the Demonic Tutor. Watch a lot of these box breaks, did not see a lot of these broken on camera. That being said, in, this, in those first 10 slots, I think we can get a lot of great cards still. So go ahead and take a quick drink. Ladies and gentlemen, stay hydrated. It's summertime, stay safe. And we will continue on. Final eight packs. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. I'm gonna go a little more dramatic. We're gonna get the Mana Crypt. I'm feeling pretty good. We're gonna go for the Mana Crypt. Put some good juju. We're going for the Mana Crypt, ladies and gentlemen. Continue on. So, uh, we saw some good hits in these first couple slots. Now I do know that the, uh, I think there's a blue good hit. I don't know if, <sighs> Ristic Study had a huge mind blank there. I don't know if the Ristic Study is in this slot or in the retro slot. I think it's in the retro slot, but let's continue on. So some great greens, some great elves cards that I need. Hypnotic Spectre, eh, retro slot. Angel of the Dire Hour, Stigma Lasher. Oh yeah, we're getting into the Dire Hour for sure, ladies and gentlemen, not the best hit. Yeah. Seven drop, a little too pricey. A little too, uh, little, you know, a little too beefy there. Seven packs left, lucky seven. Mana Crypt or Bust. I'm feeling like we got some okay hits so far. Resurrection, Slash of Talons, Stinkweed Imp. All of this is irrelevant stuff. Great Furnace, love the artifact lands, we'll always take those. Soothsang, 
Those are all the players. Check it out. Solemn. Ah. Reprinted in Core 21. Um, I mean, these are absolutely always great to have. Just kind of got reprinted to shit. So I think that's not as good as it used to be. Might be two bucks. Six to go. I have always been one for the dramatic last pack opening. I think there's gonna be some good hits in this still, so. Whew. Keep it moving. Feeling kind of good. Will we get the 160 price point? I don't know, groundswell. <sighs> Rune Scar Demon. Mm. It's a decent demon card. Teferi's Puzzle Box, there we go. There we go, foil. I think it's like an eight to ten dollar bill. Cool card. Runescar Demon, I don't remember. Um, I know Kalia got, he's getting that Double Masters sweet art pretty soon. Will demons become viable? Who knows? Who the hell knows? Keep it moving. Getting a little nervous, getting a little nervous. I don't know if we're getting close. I don't know if we feel good about the, uh, I don't know for over a hundred dollars, gotta be honest. Rampant Growth, good card. Of course, Jack Menace. I think this is the Mana Crypt slot. Or this is, I don't know. Oh. Fairy Temporal Archmage, bang, bang. Sundial of the Infinite. Yeah. Uh, it's on screen, but I wanna say it's about a seven, eight dollar bill. Holy shit. Four packs left, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Steve. That's a slot right there. Dragon Lord. Dolomite. Oh man, I think that's a slot right there. The Dolom Gate. That was not the artifact we need. Three packs left, holy shit. Oh my gosh. left. <sighs> Three packs left, let's go. Man, I don't know, maybe we should have kept that one sealed. I don't know if the one demonic tutor is enough to get us where we need to be. Jeez, give me a Teferi's protection. Oh, gosh. Stink. Some amazing foils we have not been getting. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Two packs left. <laughs> All right. I hyped it up a lot. I don't know. I don't know if we're getting that 160 value in this box. Holy shit. All you need is one hit. All we need is one hit. Oh, make me nervous. There we go. Love that card. I uh, wanted more of those earlier on. Jesus Christ. Okay, good pack. Good pack, I guess. Eight to ten dollar bill. Eight to ten dollar bill. Oh, last pack. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so Mystery Booster, it has been a fun journey. We did have some fun. This will be the last Mystery Booster packs I probably will ever open. Buy a lot of this shit. Let's go. Let's go. Mana Crypt. Where were you, baby? 
We might get something good. We might not. Pitfall Trap, Mist Raven, Reckless Spite, Stagger Shock. Oh, 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 Good card, three, four dollar bill, not the Mana Crypt. Oh, not the Mana Crypt. Not the Mana Crypt. Fuck the foil slot in this box. Holy shit. Yikes. Okay. Grape Titan, decent. Oh man. Okay, I think if I pinch and scrape with all the two $3 uncommons, I think we got there maybe. As far as does it feel good? Um, Triumph, Triumph of the Hordes needed it, will be played. Grave Titan, absolutely will use that. Demonic Tutor, we got some great cards. Teferi's Mage, uh, I don't know. Master Accumulative Score right now is on the screen. Side. Mystery Booster, we had fun. We had a good time. I feel pretty good about our experience together. I will visit you again in the future. I know I just said I was in the last pack, but you know, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, hit like, hit subscribe, and until the next time, catch you guys in the next cracking packs.